Hey guys, this is just a beginner tutorial series for reducing the render time in Blender cycles. However, there will be a follow-up video in which we will discuss more about advanced rendering tips and I mean how you can reduce the render time much further. So stay tuned for that and there will be another video for reducing the light bake time in Eevee because sometimes it just takes a long time to render lighting in Eevee. So yeah, stay tuned for that as well. Now. Now the first and most important thing to do is to make sure that you're using the latest version of Blender which is currently it's 2.82 I think and if you don't have it then you can head over to blender.org and download the latest version. By the way by using the term latest version I'm not referring to the experimental builds just download the stable version okay. now. The next thing to do is to make sure that you're using both your CPU and a GPU. I mean if you have a GPU uh, or a graphics card installed on your system. So if you have a graphics card you can go over to edit preference and system tab. And then over here in the cycle surrender device you need to choose anything other than none. Okay like if you have an Nvidia card you can use CUDA or if you have an RTX card you can use optics or if you have an AMD card you can use the OpenCL. As you can see I have an Nvidia graphics card so I'm going to use the CUDA option and also you need to make sure that you're using both the GPU and the CPU as well so make sure you check both of those because otherwise it's only going to use the GPU. After doing that you just save the user preference and close this window and then go into the render tab and click on the rendered I mean the device as GPU. Now you might be asking that why am I choosing GPU or CPU like there's not an option for for using both at the same time. Thing is that when you choose GPU it will actually use both the CPU and the GPU if you have checked both of these but if you choose CPU it will only use the CPU for rendering the final image. Now, now the next common thing to do is to reduce the render samples. However, reducing the sample will increase the noise in the final render. As you can see, like on the left we have the most clean image, but it will take forever to render. And on the right you have like the most noisiest image possible because we have reduced the noise, I mean the sample quite a lot. So make sure that you're not losing too much quality but at the same time you're not using too much resources so that you have a reasonable amount of rendering time. However, we can use a denoiser to reduce the noise. So coming up next is using a denoiser. Luckily Blender 2.82 got a new denoiser. This is just some black magic and stuff and boom you got a clean image. So to use denoiser I'm going to split this view into two and change this into a compositor. By the way, if you can't see these nodes here, make sure you have checked the use node checkbox. Now use denoiser, I'm going to press shift A and add a denoise filter in the filter tab. As you can see, you need to feed in some information. I image, a normal and an albedo. To get this information, you need to go over to the render layer tab and check the denoise data. And now, as you can see, we got those additional information that we need. Now you need to plug the noisy image to the no image, the denoising normal to the normal and the albedo to albedo and boom you can see the image is looking pretty cool. So to recap the whole lesson so far, what you can do to reduce the render, your render time by a lot is number one, use the laser version of Blender Number two, make sure you're using both CPU and GPU. And number three, use denoise filter and reduce the sample as much as you can. Believe me, it wasn't that this easy until Blender 2.82 has arrived because otherwise like the default denoiser that Blender has from like Blender 2.78 or 7.9, I don't remember. It was horrible, okay? The results were much worse and we need to do many other tweaks and stuff to reduce the render time but it's been much easier nowadays to reduce your render time by just doing this simple step. However there are some other steps that I'm gonna show you but not in this video because it's beginner friendly and like the most 
simple and basic stuff that you can do to reduce your render time and uh, yeah so thanks for watching guys and in the next video i'm gonna show you some other cool stuff to reduce your time further